Good morning guys, it's Friday and it's finally a beautiful sunny day. Um, I know I always start with weather but that is just kind of like the main topic of like it makes such a difference to my day if it's a nice day. So yes, the sun is shining today. I have gone for a very slicked back look, although my bun has just fallen out. Does anyone else get that? Where you kind of go for a little bun and then it just lollops out. <laughs> Um, but I basically couldn't be bothered to wash, wash my hair this morning and I wanted to film a quick reel, so that is what I'm doing. In fact, I've got a, um, the cardigan on from my last video and I love it, I'll show you it in a minute. Um, but you can probably see that behind me, I have got some new prints on the wall. I mentioned these in my last vlog as well, but look, they arrived yesterday and Lou put them up straight away and I absolutely love them. They're from Decenio. Um, so this one is kind of like, I think it's called London, um, London Arches or something. I'll leave all of them linked below. This one is probably my favourite. It's just a really beautiful spiral staircase. How gorgeous is that? Imagine having that in your house. Um, this one is Notting Hill, I think it is. And then this end one is just a beautiful like arch window with a garden and it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, so I put all four of them in a row in my office and I just think they look really lovely up there. So pleased with them. And this wall was looking so bare before, whereas now I feel like it just adds a little bit of something to a plain wall. This isn't an ad, by the way, um, but I did work with them last month and they gave me a discount code and they've given me an updated discount code for any of you um, because I had some issues with my last discount code, my own fault, um, but they've given me an updated discount code. So if you would like to purchase anything i'll show you the ones in my living room i'm sure you've all seen them anyway but i will um pop the discount code in the description box and i'll also pop it on the screen um but you can like if you wanted a wall like this or if you wanted to do like a gallery wall they've got like a little feature on their website where you can kind of like plan out the prints that you want so you can put them all in a row if you want three or four or you can sort of choose the ones and see how they look together um so it's a really good way of like choosing which prints you want um but yeah absolutely love them leave the discount code in the description box i'll leave these ones down there as well um and i just think they look so cool and i went for black and white this time because the ones in the living room i love but they're very um like neutral and i thought i wanted something a little bit different in here um anyway my outfit that i am wearing i say that it's not my outfit it's not actually my outfit of the day but Come on, focus. See, I really need to, <laughs> I really need to sort that bun out. Um, but I put on the cardigan that I showed you before, but I put it on with a black roll neck and black leather trousers and these tan knee-high boots. And I actually really like the way it looks like this. Um, and I've also popped belt on from ASOS. And if we focus, I've got my little hoops in from Majuri. Um, and like I said, Imagine that's up like that, because it looks silly like that. Um, but the prints look really cool in the background as well, don't they? Really lovely. Look at that sunshine shining in. Oh, wonderful. Oh, by the way, I used a new mascara this morning. It is the By Terry Lash Expert Click Mascara. I'm trying to stand near the window so you can see it a little bit better. Whew, that is bright. Hang on. Yeah, let me just... Can you see? Looks really good, I'm really impressed with it. I didn't like curl my lashes or anything, but then saying that I don't ever really curl my lashes. In fact, I never curl my lashes. I don't think I have a lash curler, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. It's kind of like given a really good lift. And yeah, I really like it. Although my brows are not looking their best today. Look at that regrowth. I really need to pluck them. In fact, I'll do that in a minute. I thought I'd quickly show you my other Decenio prints as well. I have shown you these in a previous vlog, but in case you missed it, um, I've got these two in the hallway, which again, I just think they're so cool. A little bit different for from what I'd usually go for, but I thought they kind of black and white were really statement and you kind of see them as you come in the door. Um, well, you don't, they're sort of just tucked around the corner, but I just think they look really cool there. So I'll leave those linked as well. And then these are the three prints in the living room, which you probably noticed before in loads of my videos or in the background of like my Instagram reels before. Um, but yeah, really love them. This one at the end is my favourite. I just love the colours in this and like the texture of it. 
and I think it works perfectly with the wall colour in here. So I might change these two up to match this colouring a little bit more so they blend in with the wall. Um, but I do also think these two are gorgeous as well. And like I said, I've got a discount code for 30% off all prints, but I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box below as well. I've just finished filming the final outfit and I popped on a red lipstick to change it up a little bit. I really like it. Don't get me wrong, I think I've kind of gone a little bit wonky on one side, like if I hold my mouth still, <laughs> um, you can see that this side, one side looks a little bit bigger than the other anyway. Um, but it is a NARS liquid lipstick in the shade Light, Light My Fire. So I'll link, it, I'll link it down below, but I think it's really nice, like really bright red, perfect. How lovely would this be in summer? And if, in fact, this is like my go-to kind of holiday color when you're wearing just a nice like white dress or even a red dress and a matching lipstick, love it. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you this skirt. So I've just popped on the um, ASOS skirt that I showed you in my last vlog. But when I went to edit the video, the footage of me trying on both of these skirts was completely kaput. I don't know where it went, it just vanished. So I don't know, I don't know if I deleted it, I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd quickly show it to you on how, how it looks on now. Um, so I've just popped on with a black roll neck and black leather boots, black bag, um, and obviously the red lip. I did have a blazer over the top. I had this blazer on over the top. Um, and I think it looked quite nice. It's a little bit different to like my usual kind of go-to outfit, but I think it looked really nice. Um, but yeah, really lovely skirt. I just think it's a little bit something different. It would look really nice as workwear. Oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I painted my nails. Um, when did I do them? I think it was a week ago today. You can see there is, if it focuses, there's like a little bit of regrowth coming through. Um, but I did them a week ago today and I have found, like I've been loving doing gel nails, but I found that after a week, one will start lifting slightly. Um, so I saw this like gel builder on ASOS and it had loads of, like when I looked at the reviews, it had loads of good reviews and it's basically like a um, base coat, but it's really thick. So it almost gives the feel of like having acrylic on rather than gel. It gives like a really kind of tough feel, not as thick as acrylic, but kind of like a mix between a regular gel and an acrylic. And like I said, they have not chipped at all. And you can see that they've been on for a while because they have started growing out a little bit. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend it if you do gel nails at home and you want something that really, really lasts without chipping. Really, really recommend this. Um, in fact, I'm filming a favorites video tomorrow. Tomorrow? Maybe, maybe Monday. Um, and I will be definitely be talking about this in the favorites video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get changed, put some things away, hang some bits up and I will chat to you in a bit. to emails and trying to kind of finish up some bits before the weekend. Um, Lou's just got back and is making us some lunch which is a late lunch but um, we're just going to have some food and then we're going to head out in a minute because, well not in a minute but at five I have got my car booked in at We Buy, we buy Any Car, um, my Fiat because I still haven't got rid of that yet and it needs to go. It's just sat on the drive like not doing anything. So I'm going to take that over to We Buy Any Car at five, both Lou and I will go, I'll follow him in my new car. Um, he can drive the old one. <laughs> and then hopefully they will, because they give you a price and then they knock it down, I think when you get there. So hopefully they don't knock it down too much. But at the moment I just want, I just want it gone now. Um, but I have just had a package arrive and I think it's from And Other Stories. Well, I know it is. Said on the delivery thing, H&M. So I thought I would quickly get into it. I've only ordered a couple of bits, but I thought I'd quickly open it and show you. Um, Lou, can you bring me in some scissors, please? I cut Lou's hair yesterday. 
um, and it actually looks really good. Did a blooming good job. I think the first time I did it, in the first lockdown, which is nearly a year ago now, um, we didn't use the clippers right, like we put them on, the, on a too low setting. Whereas this time, just saying that I cut your hair for you. Oh, is that what No, no, this isn't in? what I wanted these for. No, um, I wanted these. You tempted me in. No, I said. This is a trap. <laughs> I was just saying, no, I said, can you bring us some, oh, you're showing your hair off. Oh, now it looks patchy on camera. It probably is. <laughs> All right, Lou, fly. I'm trying to take you before so you're 60. <laughs> but, oh, I, I think we get the idea. <laughs> Lou, come here. <laughs> I need to go, I need to go What are you lunch. doing? That was the worst. It looks better than it did that close to the camera. Um, basically, the first time I did it, we put the he, we used Lou's hair clipper uh, beard clippers, and we put it on the wrong setting. Whereas this time we put it on a different setting, and it worked okay. Um, so I mean, it didn't look its best. Then it needs styling. A little bit of product in there. Um, What's wrong with it? Huh? What's wrong we just with rolled it? around this far from the camera. I pick the camera up and then can you can spin it. Yeah, around. I will, I'll show. I'll show after I've done this. I'll I'll tweak it a little bit, and then I'll come and show. Tweak it. it. What? No, like yeah. just like move the <laughs> bits around. <laughs> Piss off. Um, anyway, back to the package. Did I cut that open? Why can't I get into it? Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Let me paper cut. Anyway, I'm in. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I ordered is a cardigan. I am wearing cardigans around the house all the time with leggings and like basically a black roll neck or a black sort of basic thermal top and I thought this one looked gorgeous. It's a long ribbed beige cardigan um, and it feels lovely. It feels really nice. Just pop it on. It's got like quite balloon sleeves um, and it's quite long as well. I'll show it to you in a minute. I have actually got a skirt on at the moment and leather trousers underneath and still my boots on. I don't know why I've still got, I basically um, photographed this outfit with the leather trousers and then I wanted to quickly do something with the skirt again so I just put it on over the top. So at the moment I literally look like, um, is it Joey from Friends where he puts all the clothes, yeah he puts all his clothes on doesn't he? Yeah, I basically look like that. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that I ordered is this jacket and I just thought it was lovely. I actually ordered a similar one from Topshop during Black Friday week, um, but it was quite like, it had quite a f like furry feel to it, um, and it just didn't, I just wasn't overly keen on it, so I ended up sending it back, but I thought this one was lovely. And I thought it's, it's kind of like a cross between a shacket and a jacket. <laughs> Um, but I thought it, it would look nice worn open, but also kind of would look lovely with a black roll neck underneath and leather trousers like done up and looking a bit more kind of like sharp. Both really lovely bits. I will try them on and show you. Um, in fact, actually, let me show you Lou's hair first. In fact, let me get these boots off and then I'll show you. Oh. Uh. I love these Reese boots, but come on, they are pain to get on and off. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're off. We are off. Feels really weird being at home in red lipstick, like just sitting chatting to you, but like in red lipstick with my hair slicked back. I feel like not me. Make them and fold them? Yeah, fold them in half. Uh, Lou's making. I was wondering how you cook the top. I thought you flipped it. Yeah, but that's hard, isn't it? Um, Lou is making some enchiladas. Enchiladas? No. 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 What are they called? They bring, begin with Q, but I don't quite... Quasadillas. Yeah, I don't really know how they... <laughs> they begin with Q. Quasadillas, yeah? That was another trap. <laughs> no, no, it's not a trap. It's all my faith in it. Um, but yeah, your hair does look good, so... It looks a lot better. It looks a lot better than the first time I did it. Like, it looks neater around the back. I mean, there's going to be like the odd little bit that doesn't look 100%. Okay, we'll stay away from this side, because on camera that bit looks a little bit patchy. Okay, you're a hairdresser. No, I'm not, but you know me, I have pride in my work. <laughs> um, 
but um yeah it looks it looks better than it did the first time i did it we show this side as well <laughs> It's just gone at five o'clock and we are driving over to Lansing. I say we, I'm in my car, Lou's in front of me in the little Fiat. Um, and we are driving over to Lansing because that was the nearest um, we buy any car that was open at the moment. The one nearest us, our local one, isn't actually open at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're driving over there now. The traffic is bloody rubbish and we're five minutes late already. Good morning. It is Monday morning and we have woken up with the smallest amount of snow. Like I know there's been snow all over the UK recently, but we are right at the bottom, right on the South Coast. So we don't get a lot of cold, cold weather. Like we don't get much snow when it snows. But this morning, there was the smallest amount of snow, which is very exciting. Um, I was just about to do my makeup. I thought I'd do like a really quick, like 10 minute makeup. And I thought I'd show you because I've had quite a few makeup questions recently. So I thought I would show you like sort of what I do when I'm just trying to do a really, really quick at home makeup. Like not if I was filming, but just, yeah, just a quick 10 minute one. So I thought what I'd do is put like a little timer on because I always say 10 minutes, but then I don't actually know how long I do spend doing it, because I usually put like a YouTube video on while I'm doing it. Um, so, I'll press start when I'm ready to go. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so let's go. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a tinted moisturizer. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I started using this a couple of weeks ago now, and I'm loving it. It's just such a nice, like, when you don't wanna wear foundation, basically, but you still want a really good, even coverage. So I'm gonna use about this much, um, and then just pop it on with my fingers. I think because it's a tinted moisturiser, it always goes on really nicely with your hands. So you can see it's just super sheer, but it just blends in really nicely and gives like a lovely all over glow. So I'll try and say, so I've got my mirror here, but then my other camera's here because it's just easier to do it that way but I'll try and keep facing you so you can see how it looks. Okay so that's all rubbed in and now I'm going to go in with some concealer and again I'm going to use Laura Mercier this is a, another new one it is the um, Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 3N and I'm going to wax some under my eyes because I look really tired today we had a really late night well <laughs> not a really late night at all I think it was about midnight <laughs> um but late for us on a Sunday night. Basically, one of Lou's best friends is turning 30 today. It's his 30th birthday today. So his mum like, organised a little Zoom get-together with all of his friends and their girlfriends, like, like a little couple's get-together. And it was really lovely. Like, we had a few drinks. In fact, she actually dropped round. Like, she put together, like, these little gift boxes for all of the couples. So she put, like, a bottle of Prosecco in and, like, some beers and nibbles and cakes. And it was yeah so thoughtful so we all kind of had a little get together on there and had a few drinks and did like a little quiz which was really good fun but um i feel a little bit tired this morning so just whacking a little bit of concealer under my eyes over my eyes as well and blend that in i think this concealer is a little bit dark for me like i said it's shade 3n and i could probably do with it being a little bit lighter just to brighten up a little bit. Okay, so I'm using the Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Warmth and I really like this. This is just like a little mini one, but I have got the full size one to start when this runs out. Um, and the brush is a Diego Della Palma brush, number 26. And I'm literally just putting it on kind of like where my cheekbones are then round my hairline as well, just to sort of give a little bit of a glow. Like so. And then I also pop a little bit on my eyelids as well. And I feel like that kind of sets the concealer as well. And I also pop a little bit on the end of my nose. Next, I'm going in with some blusher, and this is a Bare Minerals blusher in the shade Strike a Rose. Really lovely, like, peachy pink colour. And just going to whack that on my cheeks. 
<laughs> obviously. <laughs> Highlighter, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier one, um, just because it's quite subtle. I wouldn't, to be honest, I don't really bother putting highlighter on when I'm doing a quick makeup, but I'll just whack a little bit on and a tiny bit down my nose just to brighten my face up. Okay, so I'm just going to start by combing my brows upwards, just so I can kind of see the shape of them. Oh, my brows seriously need a bit of TLC. 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 I haven't plucked them or done anything to them, in fact, for <laughs> a good few months. I'm just going to get my little pot of Diego Della Palma brow cream and I use a tiny little slanted brush. So I'm literally just going to fill in this tiny bit here. And that makes my brow, just that little bit, makes it such a better shape. And then just pull it along to the end. You can see I've got so many hairs that need kind of plucking and shaping. And I don't do anything to the top of the top of my brows. I literally just fill in the bottom bit underneath just to give a better shape. Okay, that's not the best I've ever done them, but it will do. And then I'm just going to use this setting gel. It is called a Saint Lux brow gel. I think I got this in my glossy box. Let me do it like this so you can see better. Yeah, I think that I got this in a glossy box a couple of months ago and I thought, oh, perfect. I've just run out of that. So I've started using it. Um, and it's pretty good. Holds them in place all day. But if I, whenever I run out of brow gel, I always use hairspray on a little spoolie. I literally just spray a little bit onto a little, a kind of like mascara brush, obviously a clean one, um, and then comb it through. And I feel like it does pretty much the same job. So that is my brows. How long have we been? We've definitely been longer than 10 minutes. Oh, nine minutes 30. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna quickly whack some mascara on and today I am going to use the first one that I spot and I can't spot any. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I will use the Bare Minimals Lash Topia Mascara. Um, although this one has nearly run out, it's a little bit dry, so we'll see how we get on. Um, but this is such a good mascara. Not when it's dry, but when it's fresh. It's, oh, it's blooming brilliant. It's gone on okay, but this is, well, was definitely on its last legs. It's really dried up, so I am going to pop that in the bin. Um, but it is, like I said, it is a blooming good mascara when it's fresh. Um, and I'm going to do my lips now, and I'm using an NYX nude lip liner. And I'm literally... Gonna, I'm just about going to overline them slightly. So yeah, that's the lip liner on. You can see I've just slightly gone, gone over my lip line. And then I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this lipstick on, which is almost the same color as the lip liner. They literally match perfectly. It is MAC, kinda sexy. And I love it, it's such a nice winter nude. I always find it's a little bit light for me in the summer. Um, it can kind of get that sort of whitey tinge in the summer. But at the moment, while I'm a bit more pale. It's such a lovely nude. Um, and then, I'm, la I'm literally gonna pop a tiny bit of this Charlotte Tilbury powder, just dab it under my eyes to set my makeup. Not that there's really anything that needs setting, but I'm just going to pop it on anyway. That will do. And that is it. That is my super quick, I say 10 minutes, I turned my timer off a minute ago, but I think it was probably about I'll say 12 minutes, um, but that was probably because I was talking as well. So I do, like like I said, if I wasn't filming, it would probably be, it'd take me about 10 minutes to do this look. Um, I have got my hair in a top knot because I put some Moroccan oil in it this morning and I thought I'd leave that in to kind of sink in before I wash it, even either this evening or tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna leave this in a, in a little bun. I'll neaten it up first um, and go and get dressed. But if you've got, sorry, I've got hair across my face. There you go. If you've got any questions about 
anything makeup wise um if i've missed anything out or whatever then just leave a comment and i will let you know um and the lighting isn't the best in here like i said it's quite a gray day today so it's not really helping the finished look but yeah that is my 10 minute ish makeup simple right i'm gonna go and get dressed I'm just coming to the living room just to show you my makeup because the lighting in here is always so much nicer so much like brighter in here um, but yeah, you can see the finished look. Love this um, Laura Mercier foundation. It just gives such a nice kind of like glowy finish. You can still see all my freckles poking through, um, just about. <laughs> um, and yeah, just think the lip colour is really nice. I just really like it. But like I said, the mascara could be better if it was a bit fresher. Um, but yeah, just wanted to quickly show you the finished look because like I said, it looks nicer. You can see it a bit clearer in here with a bit of natural lighting. But yeah, that's it. Although I could kind of blend my nose in a bit better, couldn't I? I've gone a bit OTT with the bronzer on my nose. <laughs> I've just got dressed and I thought I'd quickly show you today's cosy working from home outfit. Um, so I've got on a black roll neck from Everlane, um, long cardigan from ASOS, and some leggings, like Nike leggings from ASOS as well, and my UGG slippers. Um, sorry, I thought, uh, I thought I had a delivery just arrive. Oh, I think I have. Is he stopping here? Is he stopping? Yeah, I think it's for me. <laughs> a very heavy box has just been delivered, so I thought I would open it with you guys. Oh, there's a little card in there. How cute. You're... You're lovely. You're lovely. To Charlotte, happy Valentine's Day. Here's a special treat from Yankee Candle to help you celebrate and indulge in some much needed self-care. If not on Valentine's Day, when? I wonder it felt heavy. It's a box of candles from Yankee Candles. Oh my goodness, it smells. Oh no. We've had a breakage. Oh no. Oh no, we've had two breakages. <laughs> <laughs> oh no what a disaster <laughs> i mean they smell lovely this smells of fresh this actually does smell of fresh cut roses <laughs> i mean it smells beautiful but i think they're going to have to go straight in the bin because they are dangerous they're like the glass is literally falling off they've obviously just like bashed together in the package and smashed um I'm, try I'm, I'm like trying to be really careful and smell it without jabbing myself in the face that one is bore oh my god that smells oh that smells of holidays oh that smells so nice um oh bouja bouja award-winning chocolate truffles almond salted caramel vegan truffles okay i'm gonna very carefully get rid of this broken glass before someone gets cut oh that's such a shame um but thank you anyway yankee candles they, they smell lovely but um just didn't derive in the best condition <laughs> okay obviously i need to try one of these salted caramel truffles just just to just to tell if they're any good Oh, they are so good. Lou is going to love those. He loves dark chocolate. And they're so like rich and mm, rich and salty and caramelly. They're really, really good. Honestly, I've been so surprised by vegan chocolate. I think if you saw my last vlog, I had some um, vegan chocolates from a brand called... Oh, what was it called? I'm going to write it on the screen. But they were so good. And now these are obviously vegan as well. And they are also so, so good. I'm really impressed. Who knew vegan chocolate could be so good? Literally just had another package arrive. I feel like Monday is always the day things arrive. Um, but again, I don't know what this is, so I thought I would quickly open it. Oh, it is from Kiehl's. Oh, I've got a Zoom meeting with them on the 10th. That's tomorrow, isn't it? What's that the next day? 
um, some little goodies from Kiehl's. I absolutely adore Kiehl's skincare. So there is a um, creme de corpse, which is their body moisturiser, which is amazing. Ultra facial cream. I haven't used this before. I normally use the one in the purple pot, which is the... Um, I can't think what it's called. It's like in a purple pot. I'll leave a link below, but it's a really, really lovely face cream. And it's got kind of like almost... Not a silicone-y texture, but you know that texture where it sort of glides on and kind of gives a bit of a film? I always find that's really nice for my makeup to sit on top of. Um, but there's a creamy eye treatment, an avocado one. Uh, what's this? Uh, skin, skin Strengthening Super Serum. That's lovely, I've used that before. Um, Ultra Facial Oil-Free oil Gel Cream. I've not used that before, but that's not normally the thing, that's not normally the type of skincare I use, like an oil-free gel cream. I prefer a proper cream rather than a gel-like texture, but I'll, I'll give it a go. And then there's like a little mini sunscreen, which are so handy for your handbag in the summer, like the little mini ones. Um, we've got a cannabis seed oil herbal cleanser. God, there is a bunch of goodies in here. A hydro plumping serum concentrate, although I think the lid's full enough of that somewhere in here. It's full of like cardboard, so everything's kind of like getting a bit jumbled in there. But yeah, we've definitely lost the lid to that. And then there is some, first of all, there's some like beeswax strips. Now I feel like I saw these on like the Dragon's, on like Dragon's Den or something ages ago. And they're like, food wraps but, but beeswax never used them before but i thought they looked really intriguing so I, I think you use them instead of using tin foil you'd wrap it in this um i'm sure some of you have probably used them before but obviously they're a lot better for the environment as well the plastic free reusable alternative to cling film so they look that's really cool I'm, i'll definitely give those a go and then some keels affirm oh my battery is going um my Battery's gonna go, two seconds, let me just quickly change it. Sorry, it wasn't my battery, it was my um, memory card was full up, it was flashing at the top that I was running out of space in my memory card, so I had to quickly delete some bits. Um, but the last thing they sent me are some affirmation cards, which I think, tell us what your own affirmations are. Write your words of wisdom on the reverse and share. Oh, okay, so you, oh, okay, so I am beautiful on the inside and out. Oh, so you've got, so there's some that are blank and some with affirmations on. I quite like that. I mean, I will put my trust in the universe. My creative energy knows no limits. My goals and dreams become reality. Opportunity and abundance is all around me. It's okay to take a break. I believe in myself. I'm not really into, a lot of people are into like manifesting at the moment. I feel, I see so many people talking about manifesting and things like that. And I feel like I need to like get on board with it but i've never really kind of practiced that sort of thing um but i do think that's a really good idea and i feel like some of those things you need to be told don't you sometimes when you doubt yourself you kind of like sometimes need that little boost and then there's some little pencils in here that say you've got this dream big and positive vibes only how cute thank you keels i just realized i forgot to put some perfume on this morning so today's perfume is tom ford black orchid and this is just beautiful. Really lovely, oh, really lovely winter fragrance. I literally just need two, two sprays and um, yeah, it's beautiful. I always put perfume on when I'm working from home. Like I just feel like it makes me feel like put together and feeling like ready, ready for the day. Um, so yeah, love that. A few of you noticed that in my last vlog, I mentioned like my Fitbit. I kind of had it on and I said something about it and then I mentioned it. I said, oh, I'll tell you that in a minute. And then obviously I completely forgot to talk about it. But I, um, I mentioned it because I've told you how much I love this. I wear it every single day and yeah, I just really like it. But um, in fact, why didn't it just go off then when I got a message? Normally it buzzes if I get a message, but it didn't this time. <laughs> um, but anyway, the reason I mentioned it, in fact, let me just quickly, pop you down so I can show you. Um, so yeah, the reason I mentioned it is because ASOS sent me a Garmin the other day, totally unexpected. It was part of like, they'd sent like a little um, sports package out for, I think because it's January, everyone's getting on the fitness vibe and they'd sent me some like little fitness bits and they also sent over a Garmin watch, which obviously I was really chuffed to receive, but I use my Fitbit. So Lou thinks that I should give him my Fitbit and use this instead. 
um, which I'm considering, but I just wanted to get your opinion. Like, if you've used both the Garmin and the Fitbit before, which one do you prefer? Um, like, what's the main differences? Obviously, I have Googled them both, and, and both of them have got really, really good reviews anyway. Um, and I do like the stuff. I mean, this is kind of a bit more in my colour vibes, like nude, the nude strap. In fact, it matches perfectly with my cardigan. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd ask you what you guys thought because I haven't set it up yet. Like it's actually still got the sticker on the front um, that says, let's get coffee this morning. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? I would love to get coffee this morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I'd ask you what you thought. If this one, if, you, if you've got any feedback, if you've used both of them or yeah, what your opinion is. Oh, also, I was going to show you how the and other stories bits looked on as well. Let me go and grab the cardigan and try it on for you. Okay, so obviously this is how the cardigan looks on and it's a perfect fit on me. I'm five foot six, by the way, for any of you that don't know, although I'm sure if you've been around for a while, you know how tall I am um, because I mention it in every single video. But yeah, anyway, five foot six and it is the perfect length on me. Um, it has just got a slit either side and nice big pockets as well. Um, and it has got a waist tie. So I would wear it like this with kind of like an all black outfit around the house. Um, really like the fabric as well. If I just hold it a bit closer, you can see really nice fabric. But I also think you could dress it up. Hang on a second, let me just grab my belt. Okay, so I've just taken out the waist tie and popped on this belt instead. And I've also <laughs> taken off my slippers and put on some boots just to show you how like different it looks when you dress it up like this. I feel like it definitely looks like a much more elevated look. It looks a lot more put together. Um, and I really like the way it looks styled like this as well. And I actually think you could wear it as, oh no, you couldn't. I was going to say you could wear it as a dress, but you couldn't because, <laughs> because of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like the way it looks like this. So um, yeah, really nice cardigan, really nice. I'll quickly pop the jacket on. I keep hitting this blooming light with my top knife because it makes me that little bit taller and obviously I've got heels on as well. I keep whacking it so it's making like a dingly sound. Um, but anyway, this is how the shacket looks on. Shacket, jacket, um, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely love it, I just think it's such a beautiful jacket, like the quality of it is lovely, the fit of it's really nice, it's just really lovely. And again, I've kept it on with the boots and my leggings, like I wouldn't style it with leggings, I'd probably wear it with either black skinny jeans or leather trousers, um, but obviously I already had my leggings on, but yeah, I just think it's re really, really lovely. Um, I think I've got it in, I'm not sure, I'll leave my sizes linked below anyway so you can see what size I'm wearing in each one. Um, but yeah, and I also think this with like a nice chunky black belt, if you wanted to change up the look, would also look lovely. Okay, I think I'm going to finish off the video here because I feel like it's probably been long enough already. I always find that whenever I edit my vlogs, I'm like, stop, why? Why are you talking so much? Um, so I'm going to finish, I'm going to actually edit this now and hopefully get it up on my channel tomorrow evening, which is Tuesday. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and as usual if you did please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as well. I love reading through comments and replying to them. Um, so yeah, do leave a comment. Um, I have got, oh I'm going to be listing some stuff on Depop today as well actually. I'll leave my Depop in the description box below because I know a lot of you ask if I'm selling things or what my Depop is and I haven't really done it before but finally got around to putting some stuff on Depop. So. I will link that below um, and I will be adding stuff to it throughout the week. Um, but I have just got quite a boring day today. I've got some admin to do, emails and planning like content for the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, not much, not much to vlog, but I will start another vlog at some point in the week. Oh, that reminds me, that was what I was going to say. At the end of the last vlog, I mentioned that I had a GHD Zoom meeting where I was going to be curling my hair with GHD with the new tong. Um, the Zoom, when I, when I went on to the Zoom mate, meeting, I actually started vlogging and the, um, the person that was doing the, um, hair tutorial, her internet was down. <laughs> so it was a bit of a disaster, so it, it got cancelled in the end. So we didn't end up curling it. So that was why I didn't show you because the Zoom meeting was cancelled in the end. But I haven't actually had a chance to try it out yet because I don't think I've washed my hair since. No, surely I have. I don't think I have. That's 
bad, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I, I think I'm going to try it next time I wash my hair. So I will show you how I get on with it soon. Um, but I just wanted to quickly mention that because I know a few of you had asked me about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.